I said, Dave, these are the exercises I'll be trying to do during the day. Um, again, I think trying to do them once a day would be more than satisfactory. Just initially, maybe some elastic. If you could put runners on it, it would be better. Kitchen bench is quite good because you've got some support about the right height that you can hold on to from a safety perspective. Exercise one, let's get you back Exercise one is going to be uh, walking forwards and backwards. Notice here, I've got my feet quite a distance apart, like so. And there'll be a tendency to bring them close together. You want to try and keep them a distance apart. Initially, when you're doing this, if you're finding it, you can only do it on the flat if you put it on the ball. If you put it on, happy to do it like so. And you'll do this for two minutes. Notice when I'm doing this as well, you have a tendency sometimes to have your hips turning, feet turning out. We'll get you to try and get your toes pointing forward as much as you can. And then obviously as you start getting more comfortable, you don't have to put as much weight through your hand. Two, exercises, sideways walking again, up on tippy toes, keeping the feet a distance apart. When you do this as well, uh, think about standing up nice and straight. I prefer to put less support through the hands, even if it feels like you should give way, you've sort of just to support you, just start getting some balance. Two minutes, exercise three. On the affected side, we'll get you to the start of your calf raises. Knee locked, and right, top your toe. We'll get you to do a set to failure. Meaning as many as you can do, Nick one. you might get to 15 to 20 and go, oh, calves started to really get sore, have a rest. Do a little stretch just as a calf muscle for a couple of minutes and repeat that a second time. Third exercise will get you to start doing some balance. And the balance exercise, you have a rest from that. The balance exercise will be standing on your bad, on your bad leg. You've got this just and with the hip to give yourself a little hard support. Yeah, yeah. Arms oh, straight out in front. Lock. Yeah. And now we're putting all the weight through Touch this one and, and we can start just position. to start getting a little bit of uh, balance, but we've got this with the support. So as as we get better, we can start moving yeah. like so. But notice when I'm doing this down. from side on, my back stays yeah. quite arched rather than perhaps come around to here. Don't, don't, when you're standing on the one leg, getting balance. Just make sure if we are in this position, we're wanting to start doing a little bit of bending. It's bending a little bit of bending from the hip, not bending from the back. It'll hurt your back. And it's just starting to use the glute, slight bending situations. And I'm just using this just for that initial support. I'd go through and do 50 repetitions. Second balance exercise. Standing again on your bad side and using your good leg to tap around a clock face, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock to start getting used to putting a bit of more weight through this while swinging the other leg and we'll do 50 repetitions, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, the next exercise will be a simple one where I would advise you, you can buy these from the Decathlon, I'll deliver them for $5 some weight. The advantage of this is to start getting some quad strength and pretty simple. These are 4 kg. We're starting to get the quad just a little bit stronger and going through and doing 100 repetitions. Up hold a full extension. Two seconds full extension. Start getting some decent strength. And I do think these are worth buying. They're not expensive. 4 kg and a 6 kg. Uh, that's it.